talking about it, a thin group again, um, heading to Hammond, but I mean, playing hard, just kind of your thoughts on going to, to Southeastern tomorrow, what you're expecting? Well, we're obviously playing a really good team that's playing really well. I mean, uh, Southeastern has won eight out of their last nine games. Um, you know, their, their senior point guard, Marlon Veal, and obviously Moses Greenwood in the post have been there a long time. So this is their senior year, and they're playing really well, and they're playing like seniors. And they've had other guys, you know, step up um, recently too. So they're very good. I think, you know, Jay does a heck of a job there. Um, you know, but I, I was really proud of our group at Stephen F. You know, to go down there. Um, and you know, compete and be really, you know, tie game with six minutes to go. Um, you know, I was really, really, really encouraged. Really proud of our group. We have a resilient group that's, you know, continuing to work and uh, really hard. And you know, obviously, we, you know, we've had to tweak some things without having Roy Dell, both offensively and defensively. And uh, um, so we're looking forward to going down and obviously uh, playing a really good team. But uh, I like my group. Um, you know, I, I love the heart of this group and the tenacity of it. And uh, we're going to go down there and compete. Play four guards most of the time. The other night, you expect the same thing again. Yeah, we'll, we'll obviously go smaller, um, try to space the floor a little bit. Um, you know, just because of lack of depth um, that we have, and um, you know, but I thought that um, you know our four guards were good. I thought we had some really good looks. We just weren't able to to capitalize them. But trying to space the floor and uh, and play out of a lot of different you know um, entries and spacing with the four guards, we were able to kind of work on that in the last couple of days and. Um, uh, so, but we're looking forward to going down. We obviously know that Southeastern's really good. I mean, obviously they won the league last year, uh, the regular season. Um, you know, again, they have they have really good guards. Uh, their bigs um, are dominant. Um, they they really beat us here on the glass. Uh, so that's one thing that we've really talked about, especially without having Roydell. Um, you know, we're going to have to hold our own on the glass to to uh, to have success down there. Coach, what do you? Looking at the bench, like you know, what what was your what was your uh, view of how the bench played on Wednesday against SFA? Yeah, I thought you know I was happy with everybody, um, with how hard we played. I mean, for for Miles to go in and, and Trey Johnson, Sleepy to go in, and, and both of them were able to knock down a shot or two. I thought Will Robinson really stepped up and and provided some good minutes, and AJ Brown, you know, came in. And uh, the good thing for la the last game is we were able to keep Shamarcus on the floor, and. Um, you know, he was able to play, I think, 37, 38 minutes. Um, and that's a big key, obviously, for us going going forward is is how can we keep, you know, Sham on the floor? Because without Roy Dell, um, you know, he's provides rim protection for us, provides us, um, you know, some resistance at the rim. Um, you know, he can rebound out of his area. Um, so keeping him on the floor, obviously, is a, is a, is a huge uh, deal for us going forward. Uh, with Veal, I know last uh, when you guys played here, um, he kind of he stepped up late, made some big shots. Uh, do you change how you defended him, or is it just kind of you, you defend him same way but just better? I think we got to do a little bit of both. Um, I think we got to you know obviously because of um, you know our roster right now um, compared to what it was before, we obviously have to do a lot of things different and have to adjust again, but. Um, uh, you know, I think we have to do a really good job of just, you know, knowing where he is and, and being attached and understanding, you know, he's a he's a big shot maker, especially end of clock and uh, and end of games and those things. I mean, he's a he's a big big shot maker, and uh, you know, he he's proved that his whole career. Um, but we have to do a really good job collectively. I think the biggest thing for us is that we have to be really connected, um, you know, on, on both sides of the ball. We have to take care of the things that we can take care of. We can't have uncostly turnovers. We gotta be able to hold our own on the glass. And, you know, we have to make them guard us too. You know, we, you know, they like to play big um, and, you know, but they're gonna have to, you know, guard us on the perimeter as well. And um, so, yeah, again, I'm, I'm happy with, uh, we're so proud of our group um, for the adversity that we faced and, and we're coming back and battling. And, um, you know, this, this group's not dead yet. We're not done yet and we're gonna fight to the end. And, uh, and I believe in these players. I believe in this team. And, uh, you know, we got some good basketball ahead of us. You mentioned it. Is it kind of just, is it a trade off that you just realize that you have to make that, yes, they're gonna probably get a little bit of more of an advantage inside with size, but they're, like you said, they're gonna have to come out there, guard you, and they're probably gonna have some bigger guys that may not feel as comfortable guarding the perimeter? Well, I think, that, you know, again, just playing four guards, I think that that's what it leads to is trying to, you know, stretch the floor and space the floor. Um, 
you know, we were able to, to do that against Stephen F a little bit. Um, you know, and we just, and we really, we just, uh, you know, kind of put that kind of spacing in. And uh, so we tweaked some things offensively. But again, it's trying to play to our strengths. And, um, you know, and, and I think obviously with, with having to play small, um, you know, I think that's, that's advantageous for us to do that. Uh, when it comes to, like, just Shamarcus by himself, how do you think, uh, like, in the SFA game, how did he adjust to kind of, I guess, just being the only one out there kind of having, like, even more responsibility than before? You know, I thought he did really well. Um, you know, I, I mean, Sham is, um, you know, he's going to be an absolute monster here. Um, you know, I mean, and he's he's taking, you know, he's getting trial by fire. You know, I mean, we're throwing him out there and, you uh, you know, and I, I, I look at, obviously, Sham is kind of a microcosm of our team, you know, and I look at him and, and I see where he was when we got him and then where he is now. But I even think about, you know, wh where Sh Shamark is going to be, um, you know, after a spring and a summer and a fall. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of Sham. I mean, he's obviously getting beat up and, uh, you know, and he's, he's down there fighting, you know, a lot of times two guys. Uh, for every rebound, so I'm proud of him. I think he's done a great job. I think he's got to. We got to continue to get better. Uh, we got to figure out ways to uh, to utilize his athleticism um, and try to get figure out ways to get him an advantage on the block. But uh, you know, again, I, I couldn't be happier with uh, with how hard he's playing. Can you? Uh, do you have any update on Roy Dell that you can talk about? Um, you know, Roydell is, uh, you know, he's, he has been an absolute rehab monster. Um, you know, he's been rehabbing, you know, two, sometimes three times a day, depending on class. Um, you know, he's in and out of the boot, um, you know, so he's not full time in the boot, but um, he obviously is a ways away. Um, you know, it's, it's nothing that's, you know, right. Um, that, you know, I, I would imagine that would uh, would change here in the very near future. But he's working really diligently. He wants to to come back before the season ends, and uh, and we'll see. You know, we'll see how how um, how he is, and um, and you know his progress, and you know, and um, you know. But I know, you know, he's such a competitor, and um, he's such a great teammate that he is. He's just like he has on his game. He's worked as hard on his rehab as he has with his game. But uh, but Wardell obviously won't play, um, you know, Saturday or any time, you know, in the near future. You know, you, you, uh, you mentioned oh, throughout the season how close this team is. I went back and told you I was going to look at, at, at the, uh, see where we stood at certain points of the game. Five minutes played in the game, five times of the eight losses, we're either ahead or within five points. Sure. That just, how close this team really we is. are. I mean, we, you know, I, I'm, um, again, I mean, no, hey, <laughs> no one wants to win more than me. No one wants to win quicker than me. Um, you know, but I will tell you this that, you know, there, there's no quit in our group, there's no quit in our staff. Um, you know, the, I mean, I wake up every day and, you know, I'm a half, you know, glass is half full guy. And, um, you know, and I think that, you know, when you look at, at how far we've come as a program, we, we, you know, no matter what has hit us, what adversities come, uh, whether we made shots in the game or we didn't, or we missed the free throws or we didn't, or, you know, we've had an injury, or we did, all those things, we always have f figured out a way to stay competitive and give ourselves a chance to win. And I think that is something when you're building a program that you have to really understand and, and, and build upon is that, uh, you know, this, this group is, uh, we've been really close. You know, obviously you go, you go down the line, we've lost seven games by two possessions or less. And, um, you know, I'm proud of our group. You know, I mean, again, it's, you know, no one wants to win quicker than me, but we're going to do it the right way. And, um, you know, we're going to build it for the long haul. Um, and I'm, I'm excited about where we're at. And, and I, I couldn't be prouder of our team. And, and you know, we want to uh, obviously finish this season strong and, and work our way into, you know, fighting to get into the tournament and seeing what happens. And, uh, and that's been our goal from day one. And especially, um, you know, with Wardell going out, you know, our guys have rallied and, uh, and we'll, you know, I look forward to rally again on, on uh, Saturday or tomorrow. What would you say the magic number is to get the tournament? Eight, maybe, wins? I have no Just idea. looking at it. Yeah, like, I don't know. Seven, I would think seven or eight. Yeah, I, I'm not, you know, honestly, man, I'm, yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. You know, um, well, the way this conference is, you never know. You never know. I mean, and I think the other thing that, that's been very apparent to me is that um, obviously Sam has had a great run here, um, but, you know, Sam has played a lot of teams close and there's so much parity in our league. Uh, right now, I think that um, the league has gotten better as a whole. Um, you know, obviously, 
couple of years ago, Stephen F. just ran away with it for a couple of years. And, um, and I don't know if that's the case, but I think when you look at the league as a whole, the league has really grown. Um, the bottom of the league has gotten better. I mean, you look at a team like Abilene a couple of years ago, and now you know they're at the top of the league. And you know, look at New Orleans three or four years ago and where they're at. I mean, it, sometimes you know it, it just takes a little time. But um, I think our league from top to bottom. I don't think they're. I mean, Incarnate Word goes and plays um, everyone really tough. Um, you know, I think that. You know, there's not a lot of difference between number one and number 11 or 12 or 13 in our league. Um, I think you got to be ready. That's one thing that, you know, has been very apparent to me is that, um, you know, uh, I think it's a, a league that's, that's well coached. I think that, uh, you know, there's good players in the league. And, uh, and I think our league as a whole has gotten better. Um, you know, there's no doubt. I'm, I'm anxious to see where it's at at the end of the year. But, uh, but it's definitely gotten a lot better. Yeah, you know, my notes. Another thing I noticed, I think you've you've started ten different, you know, had ten different rotate, ten different lineups this year. That's that's a lot. That's hard. <laughs> yeah, and, and I think a lot of that, uh, Matthew, is when you know when you come in to a program, you have some, you know, um, you know. You, you, you think certain things, you know, and you say, okay, well, you kind of plug it in, but you've never coached any of them. Right. You know, you've never coached anyone on the team. So you start, okay, well, we'll play him here and here, here, and you kind of do that on paper. And then when you put it all together, okay, well, you know, your your thoughts on this really weren't accurate in that. And so, you know, that's been an adjustment. And, and most of the time, and, you know, it's an adjustment anytime you take over a brand new program is that, you know, you, you've never coached any of the guys on the team. Yeah. And, um, you know, so what, what they can do or where their strengths are, um, you know, you, you have a, a perception, but sometimes that perception is not reality. Just like weaknesses, you might think, well, this is a weakness here, but really it's a strength. And, you know, you do that over, you know, with, with 13 basically new players from, from my perspective, um, it's always been a challenge. So, but, you know, when you are when you're got it rolling, you're obviously not starting 10 different lineups. Um, throughout the year, but um, it's you know that it, it's been the case this year. And um, but with all that being said, again, um, when you go back and look, and, and you go back, you know, when I look back years from now about this year, um, I think that it's going to be very evident that we laid a lot of groundwork and a lot of, of the foundation for the program. Um, you know how hard our guys play. Um, you know, going through adversity, all those things, those are building blocks when you're building a program. And, um, uh, you know, and I, I'm, I'm proud of our guys. Obviously, hey, I want to win every game we play. There's no one more competitive in this in that locker room than me. But, um, but also, you know, the maturity in me understands to the process and where we're at and, and, and what we've been able to build here the first year. Okay.